Right. So whatever the connectivity we have done in reference to the health edge claim system, this is for the payer provider side. Understood. Right. Right. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Whatever the connectivity are we doing here is payer side. Right. Understand? Clear? Understood. Next, after that, we need to process this to the clearing houses. Right. Right. Process this to the clearing houses. In this, what we have to do? 837i process to the clearing house where claim scrubbing claim scrubber has to perform. Okay. Right. Claim scrubber, claim scrubber to happen. Okay. Yeah. So, in this, details as follows. Because now, it is your turn now. You right. tell me, being a tester, what are all the details you are going to test under it? Now you tell me. Uh, where generally automation you guys do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The point yeah. is important for you. Okay, so what is that you do the testing? Because you have been recruited only for that. Am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like uh, the charge is, uh, yeah, you have the, have the mention, uh, mention the proper uh, procedure, ICD code uh, in the diagnosis code or not, are the charge is accurate, uh, accurate uh, or are they, are they are being overpayment or underpayment or not? Like that, uh, we are, uh, we are going Tell to. Tell me, one by one, one by one. one by one. Yeah. First point, what is that you want to test? If you are a tester, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That is that is a, whether the claim is uh, is uh, proper or not. Run a dodge this claim. Yeah, so there is no, in... there is nothing called claim is proper or not. Right. So you have to select. You have to test the claim details, claim form details. Right. right. So being a tester. You need to see whatever the information was mentioned under 837 is right or not. Okay. Yeah, so right. for that, what are all the details you have to test? You have to test the patient name. Right? right. Yes, sir. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Next. Validity of insurance. Right. Whether insurance is valid or not. Right. Yes. Mm. Next. Before validity of insurance, type of insurance. Which type of insurance that in that person is carrying? Right. Am I right? Right? Right. Right. Next validity of insurance. Next subscriber ID. Right. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. Am I right or not? Yeah, answer. Right. Next procedure codes. Right. Whatever the procedure codes they have used, code or codes. Procedure codes. Am I right? Right. Yes or no? Yeah. Procedure or procedure code or procedure codes. Right. Next. After that. Diagnosis code. Diagnosis code or diagnosis codes. Next. The, uh, charge. Doctor name in details. Who is providing the treatment? Am I right? Yeah. Yes or no? Ram. Yeah, yeah, yes, understood. Doctor yeah. name in detail. Date of service, it means from when to, yes? Place of service. Sorry? And the next could be the... Before, place, place. before place of service, we need to mention about service provider. Service provider. Next, after service provider, place of service. Yeah. Am I right? 
Yes or no? Yeah. Service provider. Next is place of service. Next. After that. Procedure code. Diagnosis code has to be cross-checked. Right. Date of service. From and to service provider. Place of service. Next. Two, two, two. What else? What else are required? Right. What are all needed? Ram. Yes, so uh, the 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 star star of the service, right? Sorry. That's a verify the charge for the service. I, I didn't get you. Can you come again? Oh, I I only see that the total uh total charge for for service. Which one? Total amount for service. Ah, total amount. Yes, yes. Total amount. Total bill amount. Am I right? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Next. After that? Total bill amount. Service provider. Place of service. Total amount. Mm. Next. Mm. What are all you will be testing? Is this is enough? Uh, if there is a multiple like benefit of coordination of benefit, or, if yes. there are multiple plan, multiple plan, uh, do we need to verify? Multiple. Uh, I mean, I mean, the 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 other uh, is a private insurance. Like here, we are writing right. Here we are writing already. Type of insurance, validity, this we have, we will be validating here only. What type of insurance there only, all the details will come. For example, if they have taken Medicare, okay. In Medicare, what, what, what plans they have? They, do they have plan of A, plan B? Because plan A is only, uh, plan A is applicable only for inpatient. Okay. Plan B is applicable only for outpatient. Outpatient. Understand. Right. So a person who is who is an outpatient, plan B is sufficient. If he is an inpatient, plan A is required. Right. Do you got my point clear? Understood or not? Ram. Understood. Ram, understood. Yeah, understood. Right. Next. Total amount. Next. After that? Uh, there could be some that uh, one company has taken multiple uh, uh, insurance company that uh, if he has taken I didn't understand. Uh, if, he, if he has plan then uh, that, that Sorry, I am not uh, getting it. Can you come again? Uh, a single person can get... Uh, if he has... A, a single person... Multiple... Multiple? Uh, uh, like, uh, if he has... Some, and also, the another uh, private insurance... For, there, there can be that situation also, right? Sorry, I'm not getting you at all. I didn't understand you. Yeah, I would. Uh, a person that a single have a, a, the multiple plan, like a, from one. The plan details and all everything comes here only. Type okay. of insurance and all. Here only you will be writing. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
type of insurance and plan details, etc. Yeah. We are writing all the details here. Mm. Understood? Clear? Right? Yes or no? Yeah. Plan details, etc. Everything will be mentioned over here. Okay. Validity insurance, subscribe the... ID, procedure codes, diagnosis codes, right? Place of service, total amount, right? So all these things will be on the clearing houses. In this right. clearing house, claim scrubber will happen where we have to verify and validate what are the information team has mentioned is right or not. Right. Understood wrong? Clear? Understood. Understood or not, right? So, this eighth point is what generally, majorly you will be working on. Eighth point. Right. right. So because your major work lies on the clearing house. Right. So, in the clearing house itself, you will be doing. Right. So, whether whatever the information right. Right. a customer has given is right or not. Right. So, that verification and validation is what we have to do over here. Clear to you? Understood? Oh, yeah, right. Understood or not? Right. Yeah. Right. So this is where generally this process in this claim services and all of it. After that, submitting finally this to the payer means yeah. Uh, doing the submit thirty seven. I claim submission form. to the payer, nothing but insurance company Insur or somebody, right? Right. Right, Pay the submit the claim submission form to the payer via Is it understand clear? Yeah, right or not? Yeah, right. Okay. So, this is after that, what will happen? After that, if you want to process one more claim, again the same procedure will be followed, right? Because yeah. this is the process, whatever I have explained for one claim. Uh, how many member, how many number of claims are we submitting? Those many times. This process will, will be continue. Yeah. Yes or no? Right? Yeah. And all these, all these, all these processes and all everything will be mentioned using the business rules. Using the business rules, what we do, we will update all the records in the health edge system itself. So health edge system will process all these automatically. You don't need to mention everything uh, manually, right? No manual details. If you have mentioned yeah. some necessary details, automatically this process will be continued. Right. Understand? Clear now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if there is any business rule or uh, government mandates or the business rule changes happens in between, who will be taken care of? That will be taken care of by the business enlisting, not by the testing team. Okay, oh, listing okay. will take care of that. Here, who is taking care of this test details and all that? So all these test details, information, and all will be taken care of by the by the testing people. Yes. So being a person who is involving in claim testing, this is what being a business and being a testing person, we will be performing, Especially in the first level, because of course there are other, other multiple levels which you need to understand. This right. is the first right. level where you have to prepare the test cases and all everything use, right. use, using manual testing process here. Understood, wrong, clear, right? Yeah, understood. Yeah, right. This is the first thing. See, please do remember again, I'm saying this is the manual process, what you're doing. Okay. So once the manual process is done, the next automation process using whatever the software uh, automation tools and all everything we use, those tools will be added next. Right. You got my point? Clear? Yeah. Yes or no? Right? Yeah. 
so irrespective of the irrespective of the uh, pair uh, claim system what they use either it can be facets it can be qnext it can be health edge the application what we are using right it can be health edge right it can be any other application and all process remains same process never changes because core administration system is same for every organization from the pair from the provider point of view as well as the payer point of view whatever the business activities and functionalities and all everything are remains constant and same yeah you got my point clear right yes sir right yeah understood it are same any changes and all everything that we will be doing it in coming time understood clear right yeah understood so this is how generally first level first level means how generally this test cases has to be prepared for the particular scenario and please do remember this is the one which we have taken for one scenario right we have taken for one. like this there can be multiple scenarios will be there in real world we have taken one scenario right. of course there are couple of other scenarios also we will be taking that of course that we will discuss right. that we will be discussing slowly and after that whatever the claim form uh, claim uh, payer claim administration uh, application done on that this information will be updated on the details their automation testing yeah. will be done and final results will be shown there right do you understand this right yeah yeah so manual process has to be done first being a tester you need to prepare the documents if right. it is agile we use jiffer I, I last time also I told you, right? I have shown yeah, you, so, right? Or not? Jiffer. Yeah, yeah. In testing, Jiffer we use. Jiffer. J D P H Y R. Jiffer. Right. right. Where In if you follow agile practices, right? Jiffer yeah. scaling, Jiffer scale uh, tool, we can connect to Jira and we can write down the test cases. Last right. time also yeah. I have shown you, isn't it? Right. If it is manual process, right? We are using we are using Word documents and all. First of all, we have to prepare the test cases. Then automation testing will be done later because without having any manual procedure, automation testing can't be performed. Because what to be tested, where to be tested and all everything. If there is no information, then there is no point in working on it. Right. Clear, huh? Understood? Yeah. Clear. Yeah. 